Thanks for joining us in watching our seed starting mix. It's an experiment. Welcome to the Wickeshire Project. It is the end of March and we're starting to mix up some seed start mix. We are running low. My wife only got one of those little bags. To make that seed start mix, we're mixing some perlite with that peat moss. It's going to be two parts peat moss and one part perlite. I'll show you what that looks like. It is an inert material. There is no dirt or soil whatsoever in this for our seedlings. There's three gallons of dry medium. We're gonna add a little bit of bone meal and blood meal. I'm gonna say maybe a tablespoon of each into what we have here, and I'll gently mix that in. I'm going to be filling up these 16 ounce cups, but I have a method. That's gonna be filled with perlite. Then what will go in is our seed starting soil mix, and I will fill that up to about halfway. And on the top, right up to the upper lip, there's a line here. That line will be filled with strictly peat moss. So what this does is it allows the plants to start in an inert medium as the roots start to grow down and start to reach down into the substrate. You'll find a little bit of food. That's the method I'm going with. Perlite, food down the bottom, inert medium up the top. And we'll see how that goes. Now, because I'm limited in trays, it's limited spacing and limited lighting, I'm thinking about refraction. So what's refraction? I've got a box here that holds 15 cups and I've lined it with tin foil. So whatever little bit of light we have for inside the house, which are not grow lights, they're just a regular LED lighting set. It'll be able to refract that light and I'll get the most out of it. I figured this is the best method since I do lack grow lights. Secondly, we're gonna add a little bit of nitrogen. That is our blood meal. It is organic. It's about a tablespoon and a half. I'll just give this a good stir. I'll get the water bottle out here afterwards and give it a good soaking and mix that in. I'll check in like two hours later. I'll spray it down, check in two more hours later, I'll spray it down again before application, putting it into said cups. Now the way to tell whether this is working or not uh, is we'll give it a two week, three week period. On the third week, 21 days, we'll see how big the plants get compared to what I was growing inside our seed pots over there that did not have any type of fertilizer in there. Right about there is where I want it. About two centimeters high. Just enough to cover the bottom. There's about half a cup. So nutrients is down here, our drainage is down here. Once those roots develop and reach down, they'll have a little bit of feed to go on. And we'll see how this does. Not sure how good the camera shows this, but it's about right there where the fertilized seed starting mix starts. And then the other half of the cup all the way up to the top here is going to be all the inert medium that has no food in it whatsoever. Again, the idea, the premise on this is once the endosperm is spent, the roots go down and the stem comes up out of the soil, um, as it reaches down, it will be able to feed. And by then, hopefully the second set of leaves grow nice and lush. That's the test cup. Uh, I gotta get water in this to stop mixing this up. Here is the experiment when I was talking about, which has just the peat moss at the top of it and the regular soil like the rest of these halfway down through and we'll see how that one does and we'll be pretty much planting all the same thing inside all these pots but I think what we're going to drop in here is lettuce and we'll see how that goes
Thanks for joining this episode of the Wickshire Project. 